Hiya darlings! This is Hello Live English Advent's Devilish Diva, the one and only Nerissa Ravencroft. And today I have to say... Happy Valentine's Day! Hello darlings! Happy, happy, happy! <laughs> happy Valentine's! How are you today? It's me. It's me here to celebrate the the, the Singles Awareness Day. <laughs> Thank you guys for all the supas as well. Uh, I was reading them. I see the pink up the pickup lines, a dearest, just a pink super because I seem to be a vitamin U deficient. <laughs> Then I had to pitch this idea because you struck a chord with me. I know what'll make you happy and our harmony is the key. Happy Val's Day. Thank you. As well as Nathan. Thank you very much for the Akasupa. Longtime Hololife fan. Recent member, but day one jailbird. Your debut captured my heart and you became my Kami Oshi. With your voice performance and performance in Rebellion, I'd love to present you with a real blue feather ring someday. Happy Valentine's Day, Nerissa. Hashtag only Ravencroft for me. Thank you for being a supporter of the true, the true Ravencroft. Me. <laughs> not, not my family. I, today, I should be your favorite one. So, we're just going to be chatting and hanging out. Uh, I'm just going to be focusing on reading your guys' messages, hanging out with you. Because, you know, is Aradia coming tonight? She has a husband. <laughs> She's going to be busy, okay? Right, Umamil, thank you for the pinky. Thank you for the eh. For NTR. <laughs> Excuse me. How do you, do you want? Are you asking me to NTR you this Valentine's Day? I'm getting a mixed signal here. Uh, I'm a little confused on what exactly you want, Jailbird. Do, are you asking me to NTR you? Bibu! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Bibu, come here! Bibu, come here! They did they haven't had enough of our music video. We need we need to we need to <laughs> So no Aradia? No! No Aradia, only me! Take it or leave it. You give Wawa something for V-Day? No, admittedly. I didn't Usually I do something really dumb for valentine's day where i actually go and i'll make all of my friends like cookies and then i'll ship them all around the world but like i was too tired to make valentine's day cookies because i'll make like you know the japanese like checkered cookies uh that are like chocolate vanilla i'll usually get uh i'll make one side chocolate and then i'll make one side strawberry and i'll get like dried strawberries and like grind them to get like a nice strawberry powder and it's delicious. It's wonderful. Uh, but I, 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 I feel really bad. I didn't have time to make them this year. But it's fine because honestly, I didn't feel like shipping out a ton of packages anyway. It's not like I wanted to send anyone Valentine's Day gifts. <laughs> Phil Legacy also, thank you for the pinky. Getting to spend the sweetest day with the sweetest girl. Happy Valentine's Day. Can you be the Valentine of us jailbirds? I mean, I'm spending time with you today, aren't I? Hee <laughs> hee. I've been alone most all day anyway. I, I woke up. I ate a salad. <laughs> I didn't eat my red velvet cookie. My Valentine's Day cookie that I bought for the Valentine's Day. Little man not home. Okay. The cats have been on my bed. All day. <laughs> little lady and little man are just chilling. They're chilling. They're chilling on my bed. They got there. They laid down. They sat their asses down. And they haven't moved all day. Literally the whole day they've just been there. 
Red Velvet is a great choice. It is a great choice. It's good. Ugh. Mm. I said this is our bed now. They really did. Wait one sec. Talk amongst yourselves real quick. Oh, wait. Let me quick read this pinky. Carpe absurdum. Thank you for the pinky. Happy Valentine's. Thanks for spending time with us, of course. Let me go get a treat. Let me go get a treat real quick and we'll eat it together. Do you guys have a treat so we can eat something sweet together? A cookie, an ice cream. It can be anything. It doesn't have to. It can be a piece of fruit, but just anything. Chocolate. Any, I'm going to go grab some of the cookies I bought. Give me one sec. Talk to, talk to each other. I'll be like one minute. One minute. Sorry, I'm back. <laughs> I quickly went to the store. Oh, and little lady's up. She's like, hey, you're making too much noise. Let me out of this room. Uh, wait, I moved a little too fast. Oh, oh guys, I'm too old for this. I can't. Uh, Milks, thank you for the sofa. My hands feel heavy. Will you hold them? <laughs> sure. Well, my thank you for the soup. The Nerizzler will rizz us up this day. No, I'm going to eat a cookie for you, though. Am I okay? Uh, yeah, I'm good. Ugh. This is truly the content you wanted for Valentine's Day, right? <laughs> Nerissa breathing heavily after running up and down the stairs too fast. That's the bag. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know what's wrong with me today. Omega Gaming Chan, thank you for the sofa. <sighs> yes, the letter was so sweet. Thank you. PK Fire, thank you for the sofa. Happy Valentine's Day. Here's some chocolate on me. Thank you. I get the ASMR mic, but the issue is uh, my mom is home and she's watching TV downstairs. So the, the, the problem with the ASMR mic is... Uh, you will be able to hear everything happening in my house. Uh, the, the, the times I've used it on member streams have been when people are not around. Uh, but if I used it right now, you would hear mom watching TV ASMR. <laughs> Just invite her to the stream? No. We have 10,000 subscribers. Did you guys know we're 10,000 subscribers away from you getting to meet my mom? Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations. Uh, strange, strange. Thank you very much for the uh, Supa. My first Valentine's in Canada. And it's with Narissa. There's nothing more I could ask for on this special day. I remember when I first moved here. It's also the day of Narissa's membership opening. Happy Valentine's. Happy Valentine's to you too. Okay. Well, we've got 10k more. And then you guys have unlocked another member of the Ravencroft family. And I don't know if you guys were there. In our Stardew Valley stream yesterday... My brother made a very small uh, appearance saying a single word, Ballista. <laughs> he said it like really weirdly. He doesn't usually talk like that. I just feel the need. But after that, he said, uh -huh. so uh, me at uh, 800k subs then, right? <laughs> and I was like, bro, what are you talking about? What's wrong with you? I thought you didn't want to come on my stream and now suddenly you're trying to set demands too. He's so funny. Yeah, so uh I guess I guess there's uh Brorisa Brorisa stuff now apparently. Brorisa reveal, let's go. <laughs> um so with me today I have a cookie. I sniff. It is uh, red velvet, and it's got these little, um, 
it's got these little like chocolate like white chocolate things in it ragnarok masa thank you for the super i know you're tired because you've been running through my mind all day oh wow have i been well then you better stop thinking about me so i can get catch my breath <laughs> oh my thank you for the super the Chi Deco, thank you for the super happy Valentine's. No treat here. Spending time with you and the jailbirds was meant to be the sweet thing I had today. I ate them all already. Oh, I see. So you got gifts from people is what you're saying. You didn't have to buy yourself cookies like I had to. Puro supa? No, pu puro supa. No, pa. Puro supa. Puro supa. Supa chato. Arigato gozaimasu. Here's chocolate for me. Thanks. Uh, thanks. You always love you, Risa. Thank you. Risa's missing horn. Thank you for the pinky locket and jailbirds. I don't care. We give for Risa. Also, happy Valentine's. Happy Valentine's Day. Days, thank you for the super. Mm. <laughs> jailbirds. I'm a jailbird. We got that in common. How about we raise that membership number together? <laughs> Arnar, thank you for the super. I really wanted to say thank you, even though I am juggling trying to return to the workhorse with a health condition. Your streams always bring a smile to my face. Happy Valentine's Day. Thank you. Gamba. Soccer freak, thank you for the super. Every day is full of love from us. I hope so too. I missed you guys. <laughs> I'm very happy to be on stream. Oh. God, you're turning this into a into a super chat reading is that what you want mercenary va thank you for the pinky are you a gardener because i want to plant my tulips next to yours oh my god <laughs> oh my god kivo thank you for the sufo mm. thank you all for the supas i'm not trying to actually read all of them that's not my goal mm. Can you hear me eating? The legend. Mm -hmm. You say, uh, thank you for the soup. Uh. <laughs> Good luck at work. Can I lend you a hand or two to get uh, to give you a rest from using your demon? Oh, I see. I mean, I guess if you guys want to help me hold up my boobs. Brown means. Help me out, Jailbirds. I need a hand. <laughs> Wait. One sec. Let me just a sec up. Um. Help me. Let me see if... Wait. Let me see if I can do something funny. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't know where it is. All right. Let me put my cookie down. You gotta stop looking at my boobs. Troll Omnipotence, thank you for the Amasuka Supa. You had me at Haya, darling. Oh, yeah? Oh, also, wait, I realized. I have to do something. I made a mistake in shoes. Wait, wait, wait. Sorry, I'm new to this app. That I'm using to make it look all pretty. So I'm trying to like, I'm trying to like survive, and it's like not really. I, I'm not being successful. <laughs> Yuhanu, thank you very much for the pinky. I'll read it in just a moment. I'm trying to do something silly, but you guys are showering me with too much love. Malzan, thank you for the Akasupa. Okay, I can't find it, but just pretend, pretend, visualize yourself there. Can you see it? 
Yuhadu, thank you very much for the pinky again. Happy Valentine's and thank you for a wonderful Valentine's song with Visa yesterday. This time there's no Japanese version of Nurse's Valentine's voice, but we added your cute element. Yeah, I'm sorry. I was very busy. So I didn't have time, but I hope next time I can do another one again. Ototo, thank you for the supa. I'm happy to spend Valentine's with you. I'm happy too. And also <laughs> the hands. Appreciated. Got. Uh, yeah, this is your Valentine's Day gift. I hope you like it. Me eating a cookie. Oh. No problem. Your voice works always god here. I'm glad you think so. I did my best. Okay, wait. I'm sure I have a transparent picture of a jailbird. I just don't know where it is. Let's quick go over. Mm. Where could the file be? Where did I put it? <laughs> you got a big personality. Thank you. I know it's quite huge, isn't it? <laughs> I got a message. Am I in trouble? <laughs> no, I'm fine. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Just needed to make sure. I can't be causing problems on this day, the day of Valentine's Day. Okay, wait. I'm scrolling back. Eventually. Eventually, I'll find, I'll find what I'm looking for. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay. Wait, little lady wants back in the room. I can hear her scratching the carpet. Okay. I found the file. <laughs> jailbirds, I'm in. Uh, we're we're in jailbirds. Just you wait, it'll be so over. Okay. Once once I figure this out. Hey, get out of my garbage kitty cat uh sorry i'm like frozen it'll be fixed in a minute i promise okay oh eh where'd it go oh okay slowly but surely Where? Oh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Something is happening. Hello. I am a jailbird. Hello. Ooh, 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 ooh. It's me, a jailbird, here on the day of uh, Valentine's Day to say that I love Noah's Ravencroft so much. I'm so happy that I've gotten to spend so much time this year with my OC and the Whistle Wave and Croft. Hee <laughs> hee. Oop oop. I love her so much. Ka <laughs> ka. <laughs> 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 Sorry. <laughs> okay, that's not what I was trying to do, but uh, I had... I had the, the urge. How do I move it around? That's what I'm wondering. I know I can, I just don't remember how. How do I move you? I need you off. Um. Hmm? I guess I have a beard now and it's a jailbird. Uh, hello, everybody. This is Nurse Ravencroft. I'm here on this day of Valentine's Day. Or, uh, <coughs> oh, 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 wait, 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 wait. What one is it? Wait. Do I sound like a man? Do I sound like my man? Uh, uh, my dad? Hello, everyone. This is a. Uh, this is Papa Risa. This is a uh, Papa Risa, and I'm here. To say, y you keep asking for my daughter's hand in marriage, I'll kill you. So, just a word of fair warning. You better watch yourselves. 
<laughs> Sorry. Are you talking into a fan? No. I was supposed to sound like a guy. Did it not work? Okay. Please let me move the jailbird. Why do I not remember how to do this? Eh. Guys, this is taking so much work because I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember what I'm doing. Okay, okay, okay. For some reason, it's working now. Perfect. I just need to hold very still. Okay. Oh. There. Okay. There. Thank you for your support today, Jailbirds. As you requested, I'm giving you what you wanted. You are supporting me today in the way that I've needed to be supported. <laughs> in the way that I really, really needed help. Thank you, Jailbirds. Um, you're not in my lap. You, you're actually, you, you guys are like that a Atlas, you know? You're, do you're doing the thankless job of rolling the ball up the hill, knowing that it'll never, never stay up the hill. Y you know, Th that's that's you guys right now. <laughs> yeah, you're holding up two twin peaks so that they don't crush the whole entire world. Thank you guys. Oh, s s wait, who's Atlas? Sisyphus. Oh, oops. My bad. Hee <laughs> hee. Mm. He content. Agreed. Now I'm back to eating my cookie. Oh yeah, Atlas holds up the globe. Sorry. I mixed them up for a second. How embarrassing for me. My brother would kill me if he found out that I did that. Don't tell him, Jailbirds. I whistles up the sky. I see. Jailbirds, your horns are hurting me. Please. Be more gentle. Mmm. <laughs> Rockefeller. Thank you very much for the pinky. Habgy Valentine's Day. Sorry for bad typing. My brain is currently being crushed. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> what the hell is this? Uh, someone asked to hold up my- to help me. Give me a break using my demon magic, so I'm letting you guys help me. Hold up my Twin Peaks. Am I gonna get in trouble for this? <laughs> we didn't ask, you offered. That's not true. A super chat definitely asked. I'm not crazy. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave you guys down there and you can just visualize yourself. But let's just, you know. <laughs> oh, what's happening over there? Oh, wow. It's cursed. Hi. Want to hear me eat a cookie? I'm not chewing with my mouth open. I know it looks like I am, but I promise it's closed. Did you guys know we have Valentine's Day merch out? Do you want <laughs> buy my merch? Or you can buy it of any of the all other Hollow Eaton talents. It's so cute. I I need it. <laughs> I need it for me though. <laughs> Skip ad. Impossible. It's on the screen over here. It's pinned in the chat. Mm. And 
It's in the description too. <laughs> yeah, you've been got. <laughs> oh. You dropped crumbs on her head. Oh my god, right as you said that, I dropped a ton of cookie and it's all over my tits. You're all your fault. <laughs> Ah, it's fine. It's fine. We just clean it up. Or would you guys like to clean it up for me? <laughs> you can pick it off with your hands. I brought both you and Cronster, my two favorite blue ladies. Thank you. Litrick, thank you for the super. <laughs> Supporting you is a burden. Ah, ha, 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 that I will not carry lightly. <laughs> That's funny. Megan Aikun, thank you for the super. Now let's stay hydrated. We've eaten a cookie. I don't need another cookie, even though I might want to eat the three that are left. <laughs> a rising phoenix thank you for this soup well technically no longer valentine's or i am happy valentine's Risa. go for the cheap chocolate yeah guys look what we really need to do is we need to consider that tomorrow is cheap chocolate day valentine's day might suck when you don't have anyone to spend it with but tomorrow Tomorrow, you know how much free chocolate, not free, but basically free chocolate we can get. Think about it. <laughs> we can go to the store and buy all those expensive heart-shaped candy boxes for ourselves. Think about it. Think about all the money that we can save. Also, Donovan, thank you for the pinky happy Valentine's Day and thank you for the incredible cover with Bibu. I love you, mi corazón, mi amor, mi vida. Thank you. Gracias. Mama, thank you for this. Man, I love blue women. I love blue women, too. I love pink women. I love purple women. I love, I love orange women. I love yellow women. I love all the colors. Gotcha, Mint Man. Thank you for this soup bug and indulge in some Oreos. Don't try to stop me as long as you're dipping them in water. Eggman, thank you for the soup bug. <laughs> yeah, we love, we love women. Let's go. Happy Valentine's Day to all my hot women out there. Happy Valentine's Day to all the men out there. Happy Valentine's Day to everybody. What about transparent women? We love them too. Grimms, thank you for the soup. Uh, why would we need to buy chocolate tomorrow when we have the sweetest treat of all right before us for free? What's that? Could it be <laughs> me? Oh, also, it's early. But VOD gang, hello. Can we say hello chat to the VOD gang? I'm looking at you guys. If you're in the VOD gang, please leave a comment down below with a... Red hearts today for Valentine's Day. Please leave a red heart below in the comment section if you're watching this part of the VOD right now. <laughs> Hello, VOD gang. Thank you for watching the VOD and spending a late Valentine's Day with me. <sighs> so I'll be honest, I don't have anything necessarily too, too special planned. I had a cookie. That's what I did today. Oh. I also ordered food today. That was nice. <laughs> Let's see, Deco. Thank you for the soup. Uh, resident girl. A girl failure proclaims her love for women. Also, thank you for shouting out VOD gang. Much love. Thank you. Evie, thank you for the soup. Uh, gorilla karaoke. If only. Then we can't keep the VOD up. And then we called out VOD gang for nothing. Skypro, thank you for this super happy Valentine's Day, Narissa. Glad to 
be spending it with you. Also have almost six, six, six hundred K. I know. My mom keeps talking to me and asking me about it. <laughs> like literally, you have no idea every single day, even today, Valentine's Day of all days. My mom didn't say happy Valentine's to me. Instead, she said, it's almost time. It's almost time. Nerissa. <laughs> She's very eager to meet you guys. So only 10k. Quite exciting. I don't know if we're going to do an endurance because um, my mom is going to be gone for a little bit. Um, she's going to be away. So I am not sure if it's like the best idea <laughs> to, to do a countdown because I, I know a lot of people are probably going to want her to get here as soon as we reach the number, you know, um, like and have us do that. So, I was debating, though, if I wanted to do uh, an endurance karaoke. But I'm not sure. No, we want Mama Risa. I'll give her to you when we get there and when she gets home. Whatever comes first. <laughs> or if we, if we reach the sub goal while she's gone, we'll do it as soon as she gets back. If we reach it while she's already back, then obviously she'll, she'll come on. The real chaos play, thank you for the super. Usually this day's awful for me, but being able to spend it with my oh, she makes it a million times better. So thank you for the stream. Happy V Day. Happy V Day to you too. I'm happy if I can make your day a little bit better. I know that Valentine's Day, Singles Awareness Day, whatever you'd like to call it, can be kind of a a sensitive day because <laughs> you know, seeing everyone together, spending time with people. Living with exclusively couples. It's, uh, you know, it can be a little depressing. <laughs> so, instead, I think it's best that we just spend it together and have a good time. <sighs> yeah, you're never alone because we're all together. Right, jailbirds? I like this. Do you like the background I put together? I know it's different, but pink looks, pink suits me quite well, don't you think? I'm so pink and pretty. <laughs> it's very cute, yay. <laughs> Zerf, thank you very much for the soup. Uh, I don't have anyone to spend Valentine's with. I'll gladly spend it with my number one Oshi, Nervous and Ravencroft. Also, I'll be raiding the stores for discounted candy. Yes! As you should. Honestly, it's the only way to spend the day after Valentine's Day. I might have to leave and go do that too, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Uh, CJ, thank you for the Anka Supa. People would think Valentine's Day is only celebrated by lovers, but for me, it's not the case. It can be a day to show appreciation to someone that you admire and love. It's not much, but happy Valentine's Day, Risa. Hope you feel loved and appreciated as always. Thank you. I do. I feel loved opening up my stream and having so many of you happily wishing me happy Valentine's Day. It makes me really happy, actually. <laughs> so thank you. CJ. Oh no, wait. Siege! I'll get I'll I'll get a hold of it, okay? I'll get a hold of it. Siege. 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 One of these days, I'll I'll accept I'll, I'll my brain my brain will put two and two together that I have been mispronouncing your name. Uh Han Honolulu, thank you for the super. Mom Marisa said, I miss Nurse's grandchildren. Will you too? Eh? I don't... Eh? It's okay. <laughs> Tire, shut up! <laughs> oh, hey, nice. Uh, Siege, thank you for the August Super PS. I sent something on your live tag. Feel free to check that out when you're free. Hope the kind of chocolate speaks to your taste. And our radius chocolate, if you haven't seen it. And also did order some that uh did ordered the Valentine's merch. It's so cute. Easy got yours, of course. Thank you. Fong Fong Bong, thank you very much for the super. Happy Valentine's Day to you too. <laughs> tire Doko. Where's Tire? God, I'm kicking myself over that. 
I still can't believe it. What kind of chocolates does Aradia like? She's not here. She's not here, chat. It's me. You're gonna have to deal with me. I'm the one who's here. You're gonna have to just love me because I'm the one that you have today. Aradia is not here. She has a husband. <laughs> she likes Ferrero Rocher's, if you must know. She also really likes breakfast in bed. If you want to please Aradia, all you have to do is give her breakfast in bed. That's what she wants. Jean-Paul, thank you very much for the pinky. Pink super for the lady. Pink does look good on you. Especially on your rosy cheeks from smiling too much. <gasps> You're so sweet. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Zafran, thank you for the supa. Happy birthday to you! Valentine's Day, baby. Eating Mike Tyson's ass. Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> David, thank you for the Aka Supa. Happy Valentine's Day. Thanks for spending time with us. Thank you. Happy Valentine's Day. And Vilaxi, happy Valentine's It's your birthday, too! We have two birthdays today. Ha happy Valentine's birthdays. Congratulations on being born on such a convenient day. Luck you. <laughs> Sean Wayne, thank you for the soup. Uh, roses are red. My name is not David. That doesn't make microwave. Okay. <laughs> Siege, thank you for the soup. I know you're the one calling me. <laughs> You'll get there and calling me. Siege, Risa, besides Club CJ and Siege are the same time as a win for me. <laughs> Hello, Siege, CJ. Nice to meet you. <laughs> um. Do I look cute today? Are you happy to see me? Someone pointed out that it seems I might have been conceived on Valentine's Day. That's something I never thought about. Why are you thinking about stuff like that? Don't think about me being conceived. <laughs> I don't want to think about it. <laughs> Sonic Master, Mogu Mogu, and Carl Play, thank you for the supas. Mint, thank you for the supa. And Rising Phoenix, thank you for the supa. <laughs> Already and Malfa are good, but they can be better. Points at Nerissa. We already had the bestest girl here. <laughs> thank you. You have a video of your birth. I do. And? what's? There's nothing wrong with that. Who doesn't have a video of their birth? And just because you guys don't doesn't mean I'm the weird one here. Let's be real. Tiny Radish, thank you for the pinky. Happy Valentine's Day. Do you recommend any podcasts? I need them to get through work. Oh, no. Um, I'm sorry. I'm, I've got to be honest. I don't listen to podcasts. Um, so I'm not really, I don't really have any. Um, I'm not really sure. I'm sorry. My sister watches this thing. It's not really a podcast, but it's like this horror. I'll have to ask her what it is. But it's like this horror thing. And it's like this running series. And it's like really interesting. I'm trying to think of what the hell it is called. It's like a horror podcast. And they're like all these short like scripted stories. And they, like, talk. Uh, one of them that I remember is, like... Yeah, the Magnus Archives! Those, those ones. She really likes them, and every time I sit down and listen to them with her, I can't stop listening. I don't know what the fuck's going on, because I don't follow them, but the Magnus Archives. Those seem like a lot of fun. So maybe, if you like horror, consider checking out that. I don't really think it's a... You know... I don't know if it's a podcast, per se, but they seem fun. And it seems like there's a lot, so 
I'm not sure though. Sarah, thank you for the soup. Uh, roses are red, violets are blue. You are sweet, just like dew. So it's time for the world to bless you. Thank you. Maya Zumi, thank you for the pinky. Hello, happy Valentine's Day. Thanks to you and the jailbirds. I won't be alone on Valentine's this year. Love you, Nerissa. Also, <laughs> love you, baby girl. Never done that. That was a little embarrassing. Don't be embarrassed. Hee <laughs> hee. <laughs> mm. Otakasi, thank you for the supa. I was so happy to see that Risa used my art as a thumbnail. It's my first time having a hollow member use my art. Really made my day. Thank you so much. Of course. Ooh. Of course, of course, of course. I'm always happy. So I, I, I try, I know sometimes, obviously, you can't help it. There's, there's going to be some amazing artists who draw you a lot. That just end up getting used in thumbnails. <laughs> but especially if I see someone I feel like I haven't used them before in, in a thumbnail and I really like the art, I'm like, oh, I need to use it. <laughs> I like I like trying to make sure that everyone everyone feels like they get a chance to shine as as possible. SAO one one one, thank you very much for the supa. Thank you for your first time. And Yaki Only Giddy, you too. Thank you for the pinky. Thank you for your first time. Happy Valentine's Day. I'm listening to this while at work. Happy to be spending Valentine's with my Oshi. You're so lovely and you deserve all the love in the world. Also, please say hi to my friend Pringles. Hi, Pringles. Pringles, what's up? What's up? Hello. Baby girl is gender neutral. It is gender neutral. I hate to report this, but it is. I know some of you won't accept it, but baby girl is, is a gender neutral term. I will still say baby boy on occasion, though. <laughs> Sinister, thank you for the pinky. Not gonna lie, this Valentine's kind of sucks. <gasps> I got dumped for another girl. At least Reese is loyal to his jailbird, so thanks for the stream. I'm so sorry that happened to you. You deserve better anyway. Look, if someone's going to dump you for someone else, especially for someone else, they weren't shit anyway. Just know that you deserve better, and the, the, the universe is going to bring something even better for you. Don't sweat it. I'm sure it sucks right now and feels awful, but you're worth so much more than that. You're worth so much more respect than that. Good things are going to be coming your way, even though things feel bad now, so do your best, okay? Hang in there. And happy Valentine's Day. Zekin, thank you very much for the soup. Uh, my first yellow, and of course, it's for my Oshi. I'm so happy to spend this day with you and the jailbirds. Love you all. Thank you. So, thank you for the soup. Uh, I look prettier and shinier. <gasps> thank you. Well, Mike, can you ask Shadow to be your Valentine's? There. <laughs> Mine's also pronounced as Stray J, not Strange. Capitalize a J. Then. Stray J. You said it right before, though, but honestly, Frisa says that, that must be my name as my village helmet, so whatever it is, it's still a win. <laughs> Thank you, Stray J. Sorry. Hee <laughs> hee. Your boy, Stefan Adams. Thank you for the soup and the hung. Now, there's Shadow, your beloved. Sorry. Let me put front and center your real Oshi. Oops. I know this is who you truly came to see. Um. He says happy Valentine's Day. He loves you guys. Henry Garcia, thank you for the pinky. Happy Valentine's Day. Risa. Date was canceled tonight, but you and the jailbirds made it all better. Sorry about your canceled date. 
Thank you for spending time with us instead, though. T Dino, thank you for the supa. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day, even though I don't got a Valentine's, I got a huge promotion! Congratulations, let's fucking go! Did, did Shadow sound okay? I don't know what that sounds like. Give me one sec. I'm gonna turn it on so I can hear it. It just sounds like I'm like... What am I... It sounds like I'm like making a weird noise, you know what I mean? Like instead of actually like doing anything of value, I'm just like... Oh, my name is Shadow. Hello everyone, if you can hear this, you can speak bird all of a sudden. Of course you can speak bird, you're a jailbird. I need you to know that I'm wishing you a very, very happy Valentine's Day. Thank you for choosing to come and spend time with me and my girlfriend, Nervous Ravencroft. She doesn't know that she's my girlfriend, or I think she does, but she doesn't accept it. But I'm a bird, so it's okay. I'm trying my best. Please support me. Please support me in my endeavor. So will turn me into a real boy. But currently, I'm just a bird. I'm just a bird who's trying his best. Okay, no. Sorry, something about listening to it and actually being able to like hear it ooh, made it so much more funny to me. Like everything I was saying was, I mean, yeah, because Shadow can't talk, but he also doesn't understand English. So he doesn't know what just happened and that's okay. Honestly, we should probably keep it that way. Um. Let's just keep it that way, you know? We've lost her. I'm right here. What do you mean? Mm. Oh, canon. I mean, that literally is the lore. I've told you before. Shadow, cover your ears. Shadow is a bird. And you know ravens travel in pairs, right? Because ravens, uh, I think they mate for life. So ravens, they 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 pick they pick one raven and they say, yeah, you're my raven, and then they they stay together forever. Okay, so Shadow, he doesn't realize that I'm not really like a bird, like I'm a bird, but I'm not really like a bird. I'm like, I'm like half bird, I guess, if you want to get technical with it, you know. I'm half raven, half demon, so it it's kind of like it creates a, a bit of a problem. Where he, he is like, oh my god, think of him like Jacob from Twilight. He's like imprinted on me and now he can't leave and he doesn't understand. So he's my pet. But he doesn't understand that I, I, I I'm not interested in him like that. Because <laughs> he's a bird. He's got bird brain. Okay, Shadow, you can open up your ears. And... <laughs> he's cute though, isn't he? A baby boy. Poor Shadow. He's not poor. He's living a very big life. He he's he's living the best life. His life's lifespan is prolonged. 
His lifespan is prolonged. Can Shadow turn human? No, he, he can't. Actually, he's stuck like this. Poor little guy. It's permanent. He can't become human. <sighs> oh. And this is the today is getting a little blurst. I'm really sorry. This is what happened happens when I I just come on and I'm like, yeah, we're just gonna have a good time. But what if your brother voices for Shadow? Uh, my brother, when he's normally talking, uh, he sounds like this. And the way that you can take my my word for the fact that my brother sounds like this is that me and my sister, when we imitate him, do the voice the exact same way. When you eventually probably meet him, I don't know for sure, no promises. But if you ever meet my brother, you will hear it and you will totally understand why we both imitate his voice like that. Because obviously he doesn't sound exactly like that. But when you hear him talk, you'll you'll get it 100%. You know what I mean? <laughs> he doesn't sound 80 years old. No. And he also doesn't sound like <laughs> Ballista. He doesn't sound like that. He added like... He added some stuff. Your brother Squidward? No. Good question, though. Hmm. Why do you make him sound like Heath Ledger? Oh my god. Yeah, he was so angry that I was not calling it a ballista. I I was surprised, though, that he opened up my door and said that. I was like, you do realize they can hear you, right? And he was like, huh? He thought the mic didn't pick him up. So he was like, did, did they hear me? And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> they heard you, bro. So, yeah. Yeah, that's that's your little peek at my little brother. You've met my older sisters. Now you'll meet my little brother. Eventually. Or technically, I guess you met him yesterday. Kind of. Kind of not really. Yeah, and now it's clipped. So now it's over for him. <laughs> uh, Pro Risa debut, baby. We'll see about that. <laughs> Papa Risa. Someday. I don't know if my dad will ever talk on a stream, just because I don't think he wants to. But that's also fine. I didn't think my bro wanted to either, but now he's apparently like, so when you reach this, and I'm like, why are you guys... My family is so weird. Obviously, I just brought Aradia and Amalfa on for fun. And then <laughs> my mom, I wasn't... This isn't meant negatively or anything like that, but I just wasn't planning on bringing my mom on stream because like, you know, usually that's something that maybe happens later as a special treat, you know. But I wasn't, like, necessarily planning on it. But then my mom was, like, at this milestone. And I was, like, huh. For some reason, she really wants to come on my stream, huh? So, that happened. Um, and then... Now she's like, well, on this on this amount, I will come on. But I obviously I don't want to I don't want to do that because she she gets FOMO really hard. But like I feel bad for my brother too if he ever decides he wants to do something or if like Malfa is here again and we want to do a sibling stream. It would be really nice if he wants to to like do a family thing. So I'd hate to be like, oh, if we reach this sub count, then I'll bring my brother on stream. And then if we reach it or like he comes on beforehand, you know. I, I would hate to do that. <laughs> and then have people be disappointed. I don't know if they would be if it was early, but you know what I mean. Mm. At 10k more, let's go! If he wants to. Yeah, no, exactly. I don't want to force him. So that that's the thing. I won't push him, but he seems very interested in it now. <laughs> You should rebrand as the Ravencroft channel. No, despite the fact that they're a part of me, uh, they will never be streamers. They probably will never have models of any any capacity. So therefore, I am... Uh, this is my channel. They just are like a nice, unexpected uh, addition to the channel that none of us... <laughs> I don't think I don't think me or Hollow Live knew what we were getting into regarding my family <laughs> when we got hired. Cause at first they're all very like respectful. They're like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 
okay, we'll be quiet while you're streaming. Don't worry about it. And th they didn't really, th they'd watch my streams, but we didn't really like talk about it too much. And then, and then I brought one of my sisters on or I brought my sister, or I, it was when I mentioned the family first, okay? And then and then I started drawing art of them just because I was like, oh, you know, it would be nice to have like an established look. And I was drawing anyway. So I was like, hey, this will be fun, you know? And then, yeah, and then <laughs> now suddenly I'm becoming a family channel. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm, I've got the whole, the whole table filled out. <laughs> For dinner. Hmm. Yes. A whole family debut for real. And then we got the power of artists, Yomosaka, Daku, and uh Why am I blanking? Doctor. That was weird. We got we got like a lot of people submitting, but I remember they were drawing a lot of fan art. <laughs> and now my family are beloved half members of Hollow Life. Isn't that great? Congratulations, my family. Congratulations. Oh. Ow. Ow, I hurt myself. But yeah, so. Saw the clip, not gonna lie, he sounds kinda hot. Daku, stay away from my brother. Stay away. He's not allowed to date. He's too young. I know my brother realistically is an adult, but in my head, my brother is still 10. <laughs> no matter how old my brother gets he is always 10 and i i can't i just can't i can't like i i realize he's old enough to drink alcohol he has been for a while and i'm just like i can't he's not allowed to drink he's not allowed to drive <laughs> he's not allowed to do anything he's a kid i'm pretty sure radia specifically feels that way about me too I'm pretty sure she looks at me and is like, that girl, she's she's 10. She can't do anything. <laughs> yeah, stick to the juice boxes, kid. Exactly. <laughs> Rip the Yofi. I mean, if Yofi wants to marry him, I will I will let her. She she is allowed. She gets a pass. <laughs> Brocon, no. Don't miss on guys. You you clearly do you do you not have siblings? Do you not know what it's like to have a younger sibling? Because if you did, you'd understand. When you have that baby sibling, but you were originally the baby, especially you're like, oh, that's my that's my that's my baby sibling. I need to protect them with my life. And then you know you go through life with them. You watch them grow up. You grow up with them because you're both kids. And then, and then you, like, are very protective over them. You know? <laughs> nah, because I'm the youngest sibling. Okay, I see. <laughs> uh, but yeah. I hope he can find a good wife someday. But currently, I just worry about him all the time. I, I hope he moves out. <laughs> Not because I want him to leave or anything. But because, you know, maybe then I can stop seeing him as a baby. <laughs> but currently he's a little he's a little guy. Just give him to to Eofi. I'm trying. Eofi! Eofi Senpai, where are you? Come take my brother. Please get him out of my hair. Yeah, he's uh he's living. He's living life. <laughs> Why no you look, I'm a family channel now. I don't think I can afford to move out. Imagine if I didn't have a radio anymore. You guys wouldn't like me. You guys ask for her every stream. <laughs> no, I hope I can move out eventually. But I really I really like being around my family right now. Uh currently I feel like it's it's very good for me, you know. It uh, it 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 brings me joy 
to be around my parents, my grandparents, and my my sister and my brother. It just makes it feel like... It just makes me feel very, very safe. You know what I mean? Like, I feel very comfortable. <laughs> yeah, and it, it makes for fun content because I'm just like, Hey, you wanna come on my stream today, Aradia? I'm singing karaoke. <laughs> But my brother, he needs to move out. <laughs> but I can live here as long as I want. Yeah. I come for Nerissa. Your family's a bonus, right? Right, right, right. No, he must also sing karaoke. I don't know how to tell you this. Malphus doesn't sing. Will you still love him if he doesn't sing? Will you still love him if he doesn't? He he joined choir and he didn't like it. He was there for one one trimester and then he quit and never looked back. <laughs> He's a funny kid. We tried really hard to get him into choir and stuff, but he just didn't want to. He made a ballista. Of course I love him. Right. What a weirdo. Ugh. He's still a bro even if he doesn't sing. Maybe we can convince him to sing something. <sighs> hmm. But yeah, maybe maybe if he ever wants to stream with us and after we reach 600k, we could have um Maybe, this isn't a promise, maybe we could have Aradia, Mamarisa, and then uh, Malphus II play play Mario Party. Because then we'll actually have a four team. It would have... It would have been better, though, to have... To have Malpha, though. I would have I would have really liked to do a... To do a thing, you know? <laughs> I would have really liked to have done a sibling collaboration. Sisters versus mom and son seems that way, right? Ah, uh, why am I yawning? Oh, it's because I'm sleepy. What about Birdo? Fuck Birdo. Watch, my mom will play as Birdo. My mom always played as Yoshi when we were kids and we played together before my brother was born. She'd always want to be Yoshi. I don't know why. <laughs> oh no, I no Birdo slander. I'll slander Birdo all I please. Failbird, thank you for the super. Oh, I need boulder. What do you think about the name Drama Mama? She already has a name. It's Mama Risa. I, you know, it's kind of hilarious, though, because technically speaking, all of my family members have a name except my mom. <laughs> we have Malfa, the eldest daughter. We have Aradia, the middle sister. We have me, Nerissa, the youngest sister. And then we have the youngest brother and heir to the, the Ravencroft family, Malphus II. With Malphus the second being his name, you can infer who Malphus the first is without me having to tell you who Papa what Papa Risa's name is. But I'm not about to call my papa by his name. <laughs> I'm not about to call my dad his name. But my mom, she was just a raven. First name isn't mama. It might as well be. Also, Takamine, thank you for the super. Happy Valentine's Day to you too. I don't know what that says. Beautiful person no Nerisa to Ishani 
すぐすととっても嬉しいです。私は、私たち、ジェルバードに、ちゅう、ちゅう、ちゅうしえちゅうして、していただけないでしょうか<笑>えあ、あつすっぱちゃんとありがとうございます。<笑> Can you kiss us? あ、ちょっと待って。んーんー。ハッピーバレンタインジェルバードありがとうございます。Thank you.For <laughs> free, I don't think that was for free.Arana Car, thank you for the soup.、Uh, can a radio sing Fever by Peggy Lee?、Uh, I don't know. c o m p a s s to come outside to play Romans and Ottomans? No, he's not allowed to leave the house. HYK, thank you for the super. Thank you for the pinky. I've said it before, but I'll say it again on this special day. Other options are one, a hundred, or a thousand. We'll always pick you.、Ah! You guys are so sweet to me. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, voter. Night Cotail, thank you for the soup.、Uh. You're getting a little red there. Please blush, blush as much as you want because I'll definitely keep you company forever. Love you, baby girl, Risa. You missed my two. Eh, I'm sorry. It's a bit hard to go back and find them now. I can look on Hololizer, but it won't be up until after the stream is done. Go men nasai. Hi, and caffeine. Thank you for the soup.、Uh. <sighs> yeah, I'm having. Yeah, 6.9k viewers. Ayo, let's go! 69! I'm so sorry. Can't wait for the ASMR debut. I know. I need to. I, I think I'm, I'm already pretty good. But I, again, I want to do a few more. I need to do a few more members only ASMR streams before I can make them public. But I think, I think we're pretty good. And I think most members won't mind. <sighs> mm. Mm. Classic Arrow, thank you for the supa. And Raijin, thank you for the supa. Happy Valentine's Day. Tomorrow we'll have some ASMR. Probably. I always, have my, I always have my ASMR mic right next to my computer, so it'll just take me a few seconds to get up. Can we get an ASMR stream for us poor non members? That's what I'm saying. I,、uh, eventually, they'll become public, but I, I've, I'm just learning how to do it. I'm practicing a bit in member streams first before we do like a public one. You know what I mean? But eventually, don't worry. If you can't afford membership, they will eventually become public and free. <laughs> No worries. Just again, for people who misunderstood. Yeah, members, members are the guinea pigs. They, they get the test runs. Android Chaos, thank you for the soup. Bought another one for our princess. <laughs> Wasn't for the distance I've had Nerissa for my girlfriend and love her forever. But for now, here's a soup and a big kiss for her. Also, have you tried Honkai Star Rail? I haven't played Honkai yet. But I look at a lot of the characters because they're really amazingly designed. I love Kafka. She's so hot. Also, Gil, thank you for the soup. I just wanted to thank you for everything you do for us jailbirds and spending time with us. Really loving the Otomeroid cover. Thank you. Also, Neroza and Garo Place. Thank you for the five gifted members. Ups to the community. Kafka mentioned, yeah, Kafka's hot. No joke. No joke. Kafka is a sexy lady. That's how I aspire to be. I look, I look the part. 
Ugh. But you know, he. D Tiger Wolf, thank you for the super. This is the most fun I've had on Valentine's Day. I'm glad you think so. So, dupes, thank you for this. I think that calf got me. Same, exactly. My cats are on my bed. They're chilling. They're living life, relaxing. Unbelievable. Can you play the part, though? I'm gonna be honest, I don't know anything about Kafka's personality. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure. You know, Halshi, thank you very much for the gifted membership to the community. She's mommy. Okay, well, so was Makima, and look how that turned out. <laughs> no spoilers. No spoilers. Jailbirds, do you remember where you are? Thank you for holding them. Appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, hold, holding strong. Hold the line, Jailbirds. Carrying justice. <laughs> oh, keeping your tummy warm. Wow. How say so of you, Jailbird? What a say so explanation. Guam well, Mastermind, thank you for the pinky. Happy Valentine's Day. Thank you for everything you do. And no, we may be jerks, but we love ya. Well, don't be too mean to me. I'm a cute girl, so I, I deserve to be treated nicely, don't you think? I'm always nice to you, so you should be nice to me, too. So, Claire, thank you for the soup. I love your Otomanoid cover. Can't wait for all your merch to arrive, too. Thank you. Yuri, thank you for the soup. I love the way you can make your voice sound all cutesy. Of course. I love, I love sounding cutesy. I can't do it for long, though. But I like, I like to do it. <sighs> oh, the uwu training paid off for real. Your normal talking voice is great, though. I'm glad. Mm -hmm. Glad you think so. She's yawning, guys. Stop mentioning it. Stop. Stop. I am EP. Can you blame me? How excited are you that Hollow Fest is only weeks away and eventually you'll have the opportunity to share that stage with everyone soon? Omar, thank you for the soup and the great question. Um, it's, it's surreal. I honestly don't believe that that's going to be a thing that happens to me yet, you know? Like, it's really exciting. I'm really excited for my first fest as a member of Hololive. It's uh, going to be a very exciting time. So I hope all of you who are attending or doing any of the digital things are looking forward to it. I know it's uh, quite a bit harder for international fans to go. But uh, JP Bros, have fun at Holo Fest. Have fun at Fest for all of us. Little lady, get out of the room. Um, but yeah, I, I'm kind of, I'm, I'm really looking forward to getting to be a part of that. <laughs> I think I mentioned to you guys that like it's my dream to be on stage and to perform and to have a blue ocean with all the lights in the, and the audience being uh my my color being blue. So, uh, <laughs> it's obviously not this year or anything, but I'm looking forward to eventually, potentially, having that dream come true, you know? Hey. Hey, hey. <laughs> yeah, so, it's exciting. Yeah, 
I'm, I'm excited for next year. I'm excited for this year. And I can't wait to see how it goes this year because Fest is always a fucking blast, let's be real. But I can't wait for next year too. <laughs> uh, I, I'll do my best to be your guys' perfect idol. Little man. Doki Doki, thank you very much for the super. You secretly came to see me. How romantic. Sneaking out of work just to spend time with me on Valentine's Day. How sweet of you. Hee <laughs> hee. Oh, little man, what are you doing? Do you want to leave? Why do you look like you're peeing on my floor? Get out if you need to use the bathroom. What's wrong with you? Yeah, go on. It's okay. I don't think he was actually peeing on the floor. He was just sitting really funny. And it concerned me. I didn't like the way... I didn't like the position he was sitting in. <laughs> it looked... It looked uncomfortable. Your nephew... Oh, little man is my sister's cat. So my sister has two cats. Little man and little lady. Uh, yeah. So, little man is a little cat man. <laughs> so, he came over, and he'll come over when he wants to leave, and I'll always open the door for the cats. If I can hear them at the door, I will open it for them to let them in, and if they walk over to the door to let me know they need to be let out, I'll let them out. It's very simple. But for whatever reason, he came... And sat and looked very uncomfortable the way that he was sitting and stared at me. But the, this kid has been sitting on my bed. And by this kid, I mean this cat. Has been sitting on my bed for like... All day? <laughs> all day. So I imagine he has to just go to the bathroom. But I don't know why he decided to sit and look at me and like... Meow. <laughs> <laughs> and so his, his position looked strange. So I kicked him out. Uh oh, I think I think he needed to go to the bathroom. But again, I, I'm pretty sure he wasn't going on the floor for real. He's just sitting funny. Gwumpy, he is a gwumpy little guy. <laughs> Let me out, woman. I have to pee. Probably. Which sister? Well, Malfa has one cat and four kids, almost five. She doesn't live here. The only sister that lives with me is Aradia. And she has two cats and no children. So if you had to guess what sister it is who has two cats that are often in my room every day. It would have to be Aradia, don't you think? <laughs> How many kids do you have? None. I have no children. Maybe someday though. I at least want to be a cat mom. How many do you want? That's a difficult question. So, a long, long time ago, I used to want five kids. And I was convinced, okay? I was so obsessed with the idea of being a mom. And I had, like, a, a list of, of kids' names on my phone. I had five names for boys and girls. So I had ten in total. <laughs> This was including middle names, too. But now, I'm like, you know... Now that I have a sister with four kids... Uh, five is a lot. Five is a lot of kids. It, unless you have a really good, like, partner who's gonna be, like, a really good, like... Like, tag team with you with the kids. You know, it's hard. So, like, even one kid is a lot. Like, I remember when she just had, just had her oldest. And, like, that was a lot. So, my... My my desire now is someday I would like to have two kids. I know this will never happen, okay? I know it'll never happen, but my, my hope is that I get struck by luck. And I have two kids at once, and they're fraternal twins, and one is a boy and one is a girl. So I just, one and done, I get one of each. They're the same age. They're like Artemis and Apollo. They're twins, but they're not really, you know, that that's, that's, that's my, that's my wish. That's my desire. It'll never happen. It's so impossible. Like, the chances of that- it's not impossible. But, like, probably not, you know? <laughs> like, what are the chances? 
That's so specific. It, well, it's again, it's 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 a it's it's filled by the desire to just have to only have to be pregnant once, but to get a boy and a girl, you know, <laughs> a, a boy and a girl baby, and you just raise them at the same time, you know. Yeah, gotta roll the pregnancy gotcha. No, thank you. <laughs> Anthony Edward, thank you for the Akasupa. Never thought I'd have a Kami Oshi, but since your debut, you've melted my frozen heart. Happy Valentine's Day. Thank you. I appreciate it. I'm glad that I can be your Kami Oshi. Yeah, I don't want to be pregnant. <laughs> I guess the idea of being pregnant kind of scares me honestly uh because i've read so many things that can happen while you're pregnant and i've seen my sister go through oh, granted my sister loves being pregnant she's like i love being pregnant it's the best thing ever being pregnant is amazing and i'm like um <laughs> and my mom and my grandma's had that experience too where they really liked being pregnant so i guess fertility just runs in our veins or something Pregnancy suits us, but I, uh, you know, <laughs> I don't know about all that. Uh, I don't know about that. I'm, I'm not, I'm not sure if, uh, yeah, you know. <laughs> uh, uh. Yeah. Anyway, um <laughs> Anyway, moving on. <laughs> uh yeah, childbirth seems scary. Because you guys have to remember, I've watched myself be born and that didn't seem like a very fun experience. Oh, but also actually, I was told I was told because of my uh because of my back, I might I might have more complications and uh, so I wouldn't be able to I, I wouldn't be able to have to give birth normally I you know so it's also like it's kind of scary for me because there's there's a chance that uh you know you know it's always there's always things you have to worry about yeah c-section <laughs> so not not really sure that's why you should just lay eggs you're so right you're so right i i wish i laid eggs but sadly being that my sister has had kids i don't think i lay eggs <laughs> uh, and not that there's nothing wrong with the c-section by the way i think c-sections are, are are obviously very safe these days but i just you know it's kind of scary because I've watched Twilight too many times and Bella had to get cut open and have the baby torn out. And that just seems, I know that's not how it goes, but that just seems mortifying to me. <laughs> that just seems really scary. Um, you know, yeah, anyway. So, yeah. <sighs> it all returns to Twilight trauma. Exactly. Twilight is the one that ruins it. <laughs> you named my daughter. You nicknamed my daughter after the Loch Ness monster. <laughs> Twilight's so fucking funny. <laughs> this was a real fertile combo. What do you mean? Fertile combo. It sounds scary. My mom described it. Yeah. Yeah, how can a conversation be fertile? That's what I'm wondering, too. I'm pregnant just from this combo. Are you okay? You might want to get that checked out. You you might want to get that checked out. That sounds concerning. <laughs> Based and fertile. <laughs> Sorry. Anyways, um... Moving on. Uh, yeah, I'd love to have kids someday. My goal is to one of each. But like, I just really want to have a daughter. If I can only have one kid, I really, really want to have a girl. 
I really want to have a girl. Because I just love the idea of being able to spend time with her and like talk about girl stuff and like buy her the cutest clothes possible and make sure that she is happy. <laughs> that's that's what I want. I, I want to I want to spoil I like I, I think it's because I'm a girl and there was a lot of things I really wanted as a kid that uh you know I didn't have necessarily that I really, I really wish I could have had. So I guess, I guess I really want to have a, a daughter and be able to give her the things I wish I had as a kid. <laughs> like cute clothes, you know? You have Bibu? I do have Bibu. I do also give her cute clothes. <laughs> uh. You're gonna get a grumpy tomboy. If she wants to be a tomboy, I will buy her the most tomboy clothes that she wants. When she gets older, she'll understand she loves pink. But if she wants to have a tomboy phase, that's a rite of passage for a girl. They're more than allowed that. It's perfect. If she wants to have a tomboy phase, I'll be like, let's go to the store. Let's redo your wardrobe. Tell me what you need. I'll get you anything you want. <laughs> you want a hoodie? Okay. You want a flat cap or whatever they're called? Let's go. You want sneakers? We're going to buy you some nice sneakers. Whatever makes you happy. <laughs> now, when she's a baby, though, and she has no say or control over what she's wearing, you you bet. Look, I, I get the worst baby fever whenever I'm at, like, a Target or, like, a, a, a department store and they have a baby section, okay? I die. I die when I walk in and I see the, the children's clothes section, okay? <laughs> Every time I go over and I go, oh, look at this. I could buy this and then if I have a kid, I could give it to them. <laughs> but I'm like, look, I'm not planning on having a kid anytime soon anyway. I don't even have the means to do something. I mean, there's always, I guess, I could like, I could pay someone to have a baby for me. <laughs> I could, I could, I guess I could do something like that, I suppose, but I have no plans to do anything like that. But so uh, theoretically, I'm not going to have a child for probably a pretty long time. S but, you know, I'm just like, I could buy these baby clothes now. <laughs> we'll do it for free. Oh, I see. Is that the sort of thing you guys are offering jailbirds? Perverts. <laughs> How many Akasupas would that take? Oh my god. What's wrong with you guys? Don't be perverted just because it's Valentine's Day. Be cool. Be cool. <laughs> yeah, where's the bonk hammer? Come on out with the bonk. People who are not horny. Come on, non-horny people. Bonk these horny people. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah so but i just really i just really want i just i just like want to put a child in the cutest clothes possible and like i want to be that mom one thing that i i had at one point when i was like really really little is my my mom would do photo shoots with all of us kids okay uh she'd have photo shoots with all of us and we'd be dressed in like matching sailor suits. Like but for babies, right? So they're like really like tiny ones. They're not like they're not like the sailor suits as in like a school uniform style, but like you know, you know the ones that kids wore. You know what I'm talking about? If you go back in time, you you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. It's fucking adorable, okay? The cutest shit ever. So but I'd have like these professional yeah, like navy ones. Yeah, more like that. I'd I'd have the cutest pictures of me as a baby and of my sisters like all wearing these cute matching outfits <laughs> and I was the happiest looking baby so I'm like I've, I've always got this big look on my face just like this or my eyes were open really wide I have really big eyes at a baby. As a baby. My mom always told me, she's like, you've got the biggest, buggiest eyes when you were a kid. 
So I don't know. I always thought that those were really special. And I, I kind of was sad that I never really had the opportunity or I didn't really have those like as we grew older. So I think if, if I have a child, I want to do photo shoots of them at least once a year with like really cute like outfits and stuff like that or whatever they're into at the time once they're old enough to like pick out their own clothes, you know. Um, <laughs> so it's like, ah. Uh... I just want it. I want it. One day, though. If I have a boy, I'm sure I'll find cute clothes for a boy to wear. Yeah. But yeah, anyway, sorry for going on this tangent about babies I don't even have. <laughs> uh. Happy birthday. <gasps> Happy birthday, Shadow Clone! Thank you for your first super chat ever for your first time. <laughs> Let's make it today, not someday. You guys! You guys are funny. Duck Mode, thank you for the five gifted memberships to the community. <sighs> but yeah. <sighs> I'm yawning so much. <sighs> Kenneth Alder, thank you very much for the pinky. It's not just Valentine's Day. February 14th is also Saint Trifon's Day, patron saint of wine. <gasps> hope everyone is celebrating. Thank you. I hope you're celebrating. I'm not a wine fan myself, but whoever said you can't get a little bit boozy on Valentine's Day? You know, I made a mistake, though. I, I had a plan for today, and I totally forgot about it. So I just never did anything with it. I had like, uh, so with, with the meal order service, they have like special meals you have to pay additional money for, right? So I paid for one of those because it's like steak. And I, I actually had this one before because I was like microwave steak, how good can that be? But I actually tried it and I was like, oh wow, this is really good actually. So I tried that and I loved it. And I was like, look, I'm gonna order this again. And this is actually my last box because I canceled it because I'm like, eh, I'm just not feeling it. I want to try to cook at home more. This is really starting to get to me eating like the same similar things over and over again. But this one's like a steak with potatoes and then with a vegetable side. That's carrots. And it's like so tasty. So I was like, since I'm doing it one more time, uh, I might as well get something that I know I'm going to really look forward to, you know. But I forgot that that was coming or I didn't know when... It was coming today and I kind of forgot about it. So I ended up ordering. I ordered food. <laughs> My mistake. My mistake. Sounds like a great decision. It might be a little bit more effort, but it'll taste incredible. Eh? Oh, no, it's not me cooking. It's not me cooking. It's pre-cooked. I just have to microwave it. Your mistake. Exactly. It's a mistake. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm excited for the steak. But I'm just sad I didn't eat it today. Because it was my gift to myself. Because I was like, you know, I'm not going... I'm not going anywhere on Valentine's Day. I'm not celebrating. I didn't, like, set up dinner reservations for, like me or like my mom or something because my mom has my dad my sister and her husband work and then my brother works <laughs> everyone's busy so i'm like wow okay i'm home alone otherwise like it's nice to like go out with your family so it's like it would have been it would have been nice to go and do like dinner imagine making a table for one reservation right on valentine's day so yeah, you have us? I know. Maybe we should all go to dinner next time. I don't think there's a restaurant big enough to fit all of us, though. I think they'd be quite mad if if six, almost 7,000 of us walked into one restaurant and said, Hi, can you get one table for us? <laughs> it would be funny, though, to see you guys fighting over who gets to sit next to me and who gets to sit across from me. But I'll have you guys know that if there's booths, I usually prefer to sit in a booth than at a table. So, good luck. <laughs> yeah, we'd have to leave really nice tips too. I won't tolerate bad tips. 
Yeah, boosts are the best. I agree, they're just so nice. I don't see why anyone bothers sitting anywhere else, to be honest. Yeah. For me, at least, it just doesn't, it just doesn't, it just doesn't make sense, you know? Jailbird Battle Royale. <laughs> exactly. Well, steal all the cutlery because we are birds. Please don't steal the cutlery. I, I don't think that would be very appreciated. Uh, in fact, I think that would be the opposite of appreciated. I think, I think that would be really bad. But where would we go? Uh, my, you know, in my head, I was imagining Red Lobster, but I'll be honest, I'm not really that big of a fan of Red Lobster, so I don't know why. That was the first thing that came to my mind. <laughs> I'd rather go to Alib Garden. Wendy's, guys, we're talking about a Valentine's Day dinner. You're going to take me to Culver's on Valentine's Day. At least take me to a mid-range place. Don't take me to eat fast food on Valentine's Day. What the heck? What the? What's wrong with you? <laughs> Cheesecake Factory. I need a Cheesecake Factory. Cheesecake Factory sounds nice. This I can do is Wendy's. Okay, well then you can go there yourself, Jailbird. Outback Steakhouse it is. Outback Steakhouse sounds good. Texas Roadhouse. Y'all take me to like Texas Day Brazil. I'd like to go there. Please. Will you set up a reservation and take me? I'm asking very nicely. <laughs> I want to go to a Churiscaria. Take me to a Churiscaria. <laughs> take me to a Brazilian steakhouse and then we can talk. <laughs> Hooters for the birds. If we go to Hooters, it's for the boobs. Let's be real. Ugh. Korean barbecue? I'd eat at Korean barbecue. Really, I'd go anywhere. Just don't take... Just not fast food. <laughs> I don't want to go to a fast food place on Valentine's Day. Preferably a decently nice... A decently nice sit-down place. As a Brazilian, Fogo de Chao is trash. We have much better steakhouses here for much cheaper. Dude, I bet. I w I've been to a Fogo de Chao before, and they're really nice. And they're better than some other, like, cheaper end ones. Like, I'll be honest. Some cheaper end ones are really, really trash. But, like, the price, I just can't justify it. You know, like, Fogo de Chao and, like, all of the... They're just so expensive. And I'm, like, considering it's just meat... I mean, obviously, it's good meat, but, like, obviously, you know, most of the times you're going and you're eating, like, a lot at the at the salad bar. And then, like, I, one of the, the last time I think I went, so I have a favorite cut when I go to Churrascaria, and that is the, um, what is it called? Um, what is the cut of meat that I like? Fuck. Guys, you, you have to remember. What is the cut of meat that I like? From a Brazil picanha, yeah, you guys did right away. Let's go. <laughs> picanha is the best fucking cut you can get in a Brazilian steakhouse, in my opinion. Okay, so I was at I was at a churrascaria, and I was so excited for the picanha to come around. Okay, we were there. I was I was with my sister and her husband. We had gone, and we were sitting there, and I we're 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 all eating, right? And I immediately request right away when they ask, "Is there anything specific you want?" I say, "The picanha." <laughs> we're there for an hour and a half, and the picanha came by once, uh, thirty minutes before we were leaving. I like flank too. Flank steak's really good. But yeah, it it really just like they the fact that and I saw it. The issue was I saw it coming around so i would constantly see the picanha going around and it never came to our table and i'd keep asking like when they came by is there anything you want specifically Be like the picanha please <laughs> please and like the thing that annoyed me most is like i saw it repeating at other tables but it just never like it's like they kept like forgetting we existed so i got so frustrated because again you're paying so much money so so much money and then you're basically like, 
you're basically dependent on if they come over to your table or not. Otherwise, you might be stuck like, because I'll have the same shit come over and over again. They'll be like, would you like sausage wrapped in bacon? And I'm like, no, I don't want fucking sausage wrapped in bacon. If I wanted sausage, sausage wrapped in bacon, I would, I would, I would go home and make that. I want the picanha. Bring me the picanha. Bring me the flank steak. Bring me the lamb chops. I don't want. I don't want your fucking chicken wrapped bacon. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Where's the lamb sauce exactly? But so it's like uh, again, there's 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 a there's just a there's a point where like thirty minutes into the meal, I can understand if it hasn't come around yet. But especially when it's been requested like five times. Like, usually, usually at that point when, and again, it's not like I was being like, um, you need to bring it over immediately or I'm going to lose my mind because I'm getting full and this is the one thing I wanted to eat and I'm paying $60, please, I'm begging you. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was, I was living my personal nightmare because usually I'm used to the picanha coming around like three four maybe even five times in a time when i'm at a brazilian steakhouse like it'll come around a lot so i was just i was really pissed off because it was like an expensive meal too and i was just like are you kidding me dead white nera also thank you very much for the soup uh, a little late but happy valentine's day i'm sorry if it was a lonesome one for you too but you can always salvage it right you're much more than a woman you're a profoundly life-changing experience mama sita also brazil number one <laughs> Thank you for the supa. Kobayashi, thank you for the supa as well. Hi, Narissa. Hope you're having a lovely Valentine's Day. Work's been hard, but watching you alongside the jailbirds has never failed to get me through a long day. Gonna be taking a well-deserved vacation soon. Congratulations! We jailbirds will treat you to anywhere. <laughs> yeah? Marisa, please come to Brazil. <laughs> uh, if I get invited to a con in Brazil, sure. Hmm. Have them invite me. Have them invite me to, to come and do a meet and greet at a con. <laughs> you have to you have to ask your local conventions. You have to send them a message and be like, We would like Narissa Ravencroft and all of Advent actually to come to your con and do a meet and greet. <laughs> Look, uh, I watch the Twilight movies and they spend a really long time, not a long time, but they spend a, oh, an oddly specific amount of time in Brazil in those movies. They really like going to Brazil. <laughs> they really like going to Brazil. I noticed in Twilight. <laughs> like, I think, so the first time Brazil gets brought up is when, um... Edward has left Bella in the second movie, right? He's abandoned her. And he's in Brazil. For they it's never I don't think it's ever lore wise explain, explained like what's happening. Okay. He's just for some reason wanted to go to Brazil. <laughs> and then uh in the in the last movies, they go on their honeymoon. Oh, and somehow he gets from Brazil really fast to Italy. Like, really, really fast. Like, in an uncannily fast amount of time. It's it's really weird. Like, he goes he goes to Brazil. He's hiding out in Brazil, away from everyone. And then somehow, magically, I don't know, maybe he can run on water. He ends up... He ends up in fucking private... <laughs> you might be right. Uh, so he ends up going there, but then... Okay, anyways. Then, they end up going on their honeymoon, Edward and Bella... And they go to Brazil. <laughs> and I'm like, bro, it's fine. Like, but like, it's just, it's just so interesting. Like, I'm like, why do they keep specifically? What was Stephanie Meyer's like thing with Brazil? <laughs> <laughs> like, so, what are they? And then like, even like the whole lore was that like Edward's dad had Isle Esme, a private island in Brazil. And I'm just sitting there and I'm like, huh? Why, why are we making that the lore? That he just has like a private island that he owns in Brazil. 
Like, that is just a strange, strange thing to me. <laughs> Way too convenient. Well, the Collins are super duper rich. Yeah, I guess she likes the country. Uh, we Major, thank you for the pinky. I swear I've learned more about Twilight in the six months since you debuted than I have in the 15 to 16 years since it came out. Happy Valentine's. Thank you. Little lady wants back in the room. She just wanted a free... Oh, you might be onto something. She was like, I really love Brazil. Can we please... Can we please go to... Go to Brazil? <laughs> Pretty please. Can we go to Brazil? Uh, I have to come, though. I have to come. <laughs> I have to go to Brazil with, with the cast for filming. <laughs> Hold on tight, spider monkey. Bella Loca, where have you been? <laughs> uh... Dude, you know what movie I really need to watch? We should do a watch along, actually, of this movie. I want to see if I can rope in Kiana because she's never seen it. But you guys know the Eurovision Song Contest movie that Will Ferrell made? I fucking love that movie. I made... When it came out, I forced my whole entire family to watch it. My whole entire family. All of them. To watch it. It was... They were forced. And now my sister, a radio, watches it once a year. It's such a fun movie. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ding dong, ding dong. My love for you is growing wide and long. <laughs> yeah, Volcano Man. My brother, I, I played that on loop. Me, we were driving somewhere and I turned it on to annoy him because he was like, I hate this movie, but I knew he didn't like actually, you know, he's like a little bro hates the movie, but he doesn't actually hate the movie. So I turned it on and pu I put the song on loop. So on loop for the whole car ride to go get pizza, we were listening to Volcano Man. And by the end, he had it memorized and was singing it. And that's how you convert your brother. <laughs> mm. We'll watch Twilight eventually, though. I need to talk to Eofi and I need to talk to Shiorin and, like, set up, like, a Twilight week where we all watch Twilight and, like, it's all we do. Like, one one stream after another. We just all watch Twilight. And Mume. If we can rope in, Mu if we can rope in Mume. But I, I want to... The only thing is, I want to obviously make sure that we can finish the watch along. And of course, the more people you add, the harder it gets. So, I want to make sure that we can plan a day for all the movies right off the bat. And have it on our schedule. So that we can we can make sure that we watch it all. Fauna likes Twilight too. Uh, yeah. I send her Twilight memes. <laughs> <laughs> I send Mume uh, also Twilight memes. <laughs> it's just fun. It's just fun, okay? I know Twilight's not for everyone, and that's a-okay. You don't have you don't have to like. You don't have to like it. But you you can't the the whole thing is <gasps> Wait, please invite me. Do you really do you really want to watch all of Twilight? <laughs> Fauna too, we both have to finish it. What what one did you guys end up on? Do you do you want to watch them all? Or do you or do you want to pick up where you guys left off? Because I I would happily combine or watch a lot. <laughs> I own all the movies, so you don't even you don't even have to worry about it. I'll plug it into my DVD player. <laughs> Wume, where did you come from? We are on Eclipse. Oh, that's the worst one. Did you finish Eclipse? Or are you like watching it? I understand why you stopped. Four movies? I think there's five. Because there's... Is there four? Or is there five? There's... There's five. There's five movies. Because Breaking Dawn is two parts. So it's two movies. She has a stream in an hour. Oh my god. Mume, I miss you. I love you, Mume. <laughs> we have to watch it. We're debating skipping it. Uh, honestly, watch it for the context of how stupid the characters are. The, the Okay, the movie is only worth watching for the line Jacob says when he is cuddling Bella in the tent and says, <laughs> One thing's for sure. I am hotter than you. To Edward. Like, the, the movie is bad, but it's worth it simply for that one part and also for Charlie content. We, we stand Charlie Swan in this house. 
<laughs> so it it does suck, but you can't skip it. You have to watch it for that one line. They need the context. But yeah, okay. I'll I'll try to get it together. When we get to Eclipse, we'll invite you guys if you want to. <laughs> I need I need to throw them into a group and be like, look, when are we watching Twilight? <laughs> And then if I if I get a schedule put together, I'll send it to you guys. How did that sound? Please. Yes! I would love to! I fucking love Twilight. I'd be so happy having a bigger watch party. It's such a fucking... It's so fu The movies are so fucking hilarious. I fucking love Twilight. <laughs> and if you guys watch it with us, it's even better. <sighs> but yeah. <laughs> Uh, don't forget, by the way, did I mention, please buy the Valentine's Day merch. It's been on the screen the whole time. It's still pinned for the tweet if you want to go see it or retweet it to encourage other people. It's also in the description if it's super cute and you want some merch for us. Hehe, <laughs> it's very cute. I'm excited to get mine. <laughs> Where's the Risa donkey? One day, but not today. Guys, it's too soon. You really want the docky already? It's only been like six months. Calm down. Haha. <laughs> but yeah. So, uh, anyway though, I think... I think we're about... We're, we're about to call it quits. Soon. We've celebrated Valentine's Day. I've eaten a cookie and the cookie has made me sleepy. <laughs> The cookie has gone into my tummy and made me sleepy. No. <laughs> You're breaking up with us. I didn't say no such thing. I just said we're going to sleep, Jailbirds. Don't you want to climb into bed with me? Don't you? Doro, thank you very much for the Aka Supa. Thanks for spending Valentine's with us. Please enjoy all the chocolate covered strawberries to your heart's content. Thank you. We're going to sleep, of course. I have a queen size bed, you know. Why don't you hop in with me? You can get in my bed with me and we can cuddle and go to sleep. <laughs> Cheer, thank you very much for the Aka Supa. Thanks for spending Valentine's with us. My pleasure. Beef action, thank you for the Aka Supa. To Narissa, well, here you go. That it, yeah, yeah, y yeah, you're right. Exactly. <laughs> eh, Mume say something and I missed it. Whoa. <laughs> so, Mume, why are you still here? You can't. You have to leave. I'm being a freak. <laughs> it's Valentine's Day. Mume, would you like to come in bed with me? Mume, we could sleep. We could have a sleepover. You're my background noise. Well, Bibu, guys, is Bibu still going? How long is she? Is she? I mean, Bibu usually streams for a pretty long time, so I imagine she's gonna go for a pretty long time too. Hmm. Hee <laughs> hee. Yes, yay! I need to go to Mume's house and sleep on and sleep on her bed. That's what I want. See, Vass, also thank you for the pinky. Happy Valentine's Day to the cutest demon of sound. Happy to be able to listen to you being extra cutesy and silly today. Uh, thank you guys again for holding up my boobs this whole stream. You really saved me. You really saved me today with my demon magic. You know, I feel, I feel a, a weight off my shoulders that I didn't even know that I had. Now that I no longer have to be holding them up. I think, I think I'll keep you here the rest of the night. To save me some some more some more magic you know i really i really appreciate you jailbirds <laughs> thank you <laughs> but uh oh, shizno thank you very much for the aka supa king bet uh king size bed fund a queen size bed is unacceptable a demon princess osa slanesh Deserves no less than perfection. Thank you. I need to actually do researches on beds. I have an idea of a bed that I want to get. Uh, but, like, I don't know if I've just been influenced to get that bed. You know what I mean? 
uh, I feel like I feel like I I've been influenced by influencers being like, this this bed is the best bed ever. This bed is the best. I think it's it starts with an H. I don't remember what it is. Helix Helix sleep, but like I'm like maybe then again my sister has a temp temper pedic and every time I lay on it, I want to pass the fuck out. Because it's it's just so comfortable, so I think I should just get a Tempur-Pedic. Yeah. I like my Helix bed. Oh, some, some of you have it! I have a purple and it's great, but expensive. Get a Tempur-Pedic? Okay. I, I, tr I know I, I trust a Tempur-Pedic because I can practice sleeping on a Tempur-Pedic. Because my sister has one. I have a helix bed and I pass out too. Oh. It's where you spend 30% of your life. Spend on it, please. That's valid. Thank you for the advice. You're right. <laughs> but yes, I'm going to send you guys though. Sorry, quickly talking about that. Uh, I'm going to send you guys over to watch our beloved Beeboo Beeboo Beeboo. Uh, but also, don't forget later. You guys should go in and hop in and watch Mumei too, since she took time to hang out with us. I think do, Mumei, do you go live in an hour? If she if she's still here, I think she goes live in a bit. But like, I think there's still a little bit of time. <laughs> so in an hour, don't forget to go and check out Mumei too. Thank you again, Mumei Senpai, for stopping by. But yes, thank you so much for coming and thank you for making my Valentine's Day a little less lonely. I I, I love you guys. <laughs> Samas, thank you for the pinky. Thank you for spending Valentine's Day with us. It's always a pleasure to spend time with you. Thank you. And Jarmus, thank you very much for the super. All right. Go spend time with Bibu. Give her lots of love. Send her my love and yours, Jailbirds. Uh, and don't forget to stream my new cover, Otomeroid. Please, I worked extra hard on it, so I hope you'll listen to it and loop it lots. I look forward to seeing you all next time. I'll see you tomorrow in the members-only stream. Bye, darlings.